I'm now on the Malak Racing Stand with Richard Malak. Good morning Richard and welcome to Race Retro 2018. Good morning, it's a pleasure to be here. Could you tell me a, a brief description of how Malak Racing started with Major Malak? Well, it actually started, we're actually celebrating 60 years of being in business which is virtually unprecedented but my father basically was a real entrepreneurial engineer but his total concept of everything is just keep it as simple as possible. As time goes by the fundamental things apply and things have to be light and simple and well engineered. Um, basically we started off with the 750 cars and then we moved up to uh, seven, uh, 1172 and then my father actually raced at Monaco, Formula Juniors and we've done Formula 3s and we've really sort of developed the cars, we've done Atlantic, we've done F Formula 3, um, a lot of sports car racing. Uh, when my father actually passed away we had a, a foray into rear engine cars uh, which was an interesting development uh, but our sort of main structure has always been the solid axle which basically a lot of engineers poo par but when you actually look at the overall dynamics of a solid axle there's so many advantages to be had and once you're running a, a, a wing on the back of a car the unsprung weight becomes much less of an issue and there's all sorts of reasons why solid axles are superior and there was a really interesting point where Fangio watched my father go through Woodcote on the Grand Prix circuit um, and he was really really impressed with the, with the cornering load of the car. So, so this particular model, this is one of the early models is it? Yeah this is actually a Mark III which has been we're renovating it for a customer to go to France we're actually getting, it's funny in life, you know you spend half your life updating things and now we're spending our life sort of renovating the older cars this is actually a sort of 1963 car but it, an awful lot of customers are, or passers-by are coming and looking at the front suspension and absolutely amazed at how incredibly simple it is but how incredibly effective it is you know and in fact my father was actually in reams did 135 miles an hour on 80 horsepower I mean that's effectively inboard suspension so uh, you know, what what about the engines? What what kind of what, did he build new engines or modify yeah, engines? Well, or? My, fa my son Charlie basically tunes up the engines, and we've done all sorts of engines: Vauxhall engines and Atlantic engines and pushrod engines. Again, the sort of secret. There's an awful lot of people think new things are necessarily better, but I mean that engine because it's a, a pushrod and it's got a very low centre of gravity that can give away 30 horsepower that's a 180 horsepower engine if you put a 230 horsepower BDA in the car wouldn't go any quicker it's a lot, an awful lot of things in life are like that people just think this and what about this more modern one now well, th this is arguably a more modern one this is our this is what we're really making our money on at the moment our focus is basically classic clubman's which is basically up to mark uh, 21 which is 1980 but we're very much a, a involved with the HSCC and the cars are going incredibly well. We actually were invited to do the Derrick Bell and basically we had to take the front mud guards off and in fact Mark Chartres actually won the Gold Cup at Alton Park. Admittedly it was raining so we had a massive advantage. But uh, Very quick driver Mark. Oh unbelievably, unbelievable. but he absolutely loves his Malak and he, uh, he, he couldn't be here this weekend and he sent us a lovely text to say congratulations on what you achieved and he's never going to sell his Malak. Absolutely loves it. So what was it like living with a father like Major Malak? That's a very interesting, a very interesting point. He, he, I've got to think about that. Um, I'm very, very proud of him and he inspired me tremendously. Um, but his total focus was on, on motorsport and uh, he didn't, ha he loved his skiing having said that. Um, but I was very fortunate to also have a, a brother, Ray, and he actually went another way in, in the motorsport world and actually became very, very successful and has won a lot of touring car races uh, or, or events and he's a very talented driver as is, as is his son Michael. Well I remember Ray in Formula 3 and Formula Atlantic. Yes, well I've always slightly lived under his shadow but uh, I think on my day, it's funny because we've actually been doing some research and Ray came up, to, came up with the conclusion that in my, in my day, in the sort of when I was 25, I actually was 
was a very front-running car driver, and I actually, I actually raced against James Hunt and Fittipaldi and ra raced at Spa on the Grand Prix circuit in the Malik. But I think most of my racing life, I've actually been much more focused on really proving how good the race car is, not ever really considering I've actually got any talent. Yeah, yeah. Because you race, I mean, you were racing predominantly in Formula Three when you raced. Um, with you were sitting behind the end, you know, you, you were in a different position altogether to some of the drivers. You know, they were all rear end. Yes, well, you know, it, it's funny how an awful lot of people, you know, start off with Malux and then go to front engine or rear engine cars, but they, the the concept of actually sitting on the back axle. You know, sitting in the middle of a race car, you don't get the same messages. But sitting right at the back, yeah. you obviously, when the back end goes, you yeah. know, you know the yeah. back end's gone. And it's funny how so many people come back to Malix and eventually their their sons they persuade their sons to yeah. to come back yeah. to them. You know, so yeah, yeah. It's a well, thank you very much for the interview, Richard, and I hope uh, you get more orders at the show and Mallet Racing continues for furthermore. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Now we're very hopeful. Thank you for thank the you. time. Thank you.